Hi friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. So in previous video, we have discussed topic number one called as radial immunodiffusion. So the link of that video will be given in the description box. So people who are interested, you can watch that video. So now coming to the second topic called as immunoelectrophoresis. So to know about this immunoelectrophoresis, firstly, you have to know about the electrophoresis method. So firstly, let us discuss about the concept of the electrophoresis so that like, uh, we can understand properly about this immune electrophoresis. So coming to this electrophoresis, electrophoresis is a process by movement of a molecules like RNA, proteins or antigens by using voltage of current is known as electrophoresis. See, if you see in the case of the diagram, so this will be your gel plate and within this gel plate, you are going to add this agar solution throughout the plate and then you are going to place a well over here you are going to make a well on this plate at a corner side i mean this will be your negative direction and this will be your positive direction of the plate okay and in this well you are going to add some of the particles like rna or proteins or antigens which i have mentioned in the definition so rna proteins or any type of antigens if you place over here then what happens and once you apply current to this gel plate then these particles which are present in this well starts moving towards positive direction we know that the current moves from negative direction to the positive direction in the same way the particles also migrate from negative direction to the positive direction right and this is called as electrophoresis so what is meant by immune electrophoresis immune electrophoresis is similar to this electrophoresis but here the immunology plays a major role because it indicates the immune electrophoresis immunology is nothing but the antigens and antibodies so antigens as well as the antibodies play a vital role in this type of electrophoresis so when the movement of molecules takes place in a solid matrix by forming antigen antibody complex by using voltage of current is called as immune electrophoresis so here antigen and antibody complex will be formed as this antigen and antibody plays a vital role in immunology hence this electrophoresis method is called as immuno electrophoresis right so now let us discuss about detail uh, you know how this immuno electrophoresis technique will be performed let's see now so firstly what you are going to do so in the first step what you are going to do you are going to take a glass slide so this will be your glass slide and on this glass slide you are going to add the agar solution so here why you are going to add the agar solution to make a solid matrix so to prepare the solid matrix you are going to add the agar solution on this glass plate so this will be your first step so now coming to the second step what you are going to do you are going to prepare a well at the beginning side of the glass slide so this will be your beginning side of the glass slide right and in this beginning side of the glass slide what you are going to do you are going to prepare a well how you are going to prepare a well you are going to punch that glass slide the part of a glass slide in a circular way to prepare a well right and this side will be a negative side and here this side will be a positive side you know positive direction or else this will be a negative direction and now in this well you are going to add the antigen solution and in that antigen solution different type of antigens will be present so here one of the main important concept which you have to understand is that see so here we know that there will be different type of antibodies and there will be different type of antigens also right so igg iga igm igd ige so all of these are different type of antibodies so a1 a2 a3 a4 and a5 are the different type of antigens right so here igg antibody can bind only with the a1 antigen iga antibody can bind only with the a2 antigen igm can bind only with the a3 antigen and igd antibody can bind only with the a4 antigen iga can bind only with the a5 antigen but here iga antibody cannot bind for a4 a3 a2 or a1 in the same way igd cannot bind for a5 a3 a2 or a1 it can bind only for the a4 in the same way iga can bind only with the a5 in the same way appropriate antibody can bind only with the particular type of antigen which is suitable for this antibody right so this is a main important concept which you have to remember in this case of immune electrophoresis right so now what you are going to do you are going to add the antigen solution in this well and make sure this antigen consists of different this antigen solution consists of different type of antigens like a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 all of this okay each of the shape indicates the different type of antigens right so now you are going to prepare a trough so this will be your trough okay and this trough will be present at the base region of the uh, what we say this glass layer and now what you are going to add in this trough you are going to add the particular type of antibody solution here i have mentioned the particular type of antibody solution why because here i am going to add the igg antibody solution only 
IgG antibody solution consists of only IgG antibodies, right? So all of this consists of only IgG particular type of antibody. But here in this case of antigens, different type of antigens will be present, right? So in this well, the antigens will be present in a different form, but here only particular form of antibody will be added in this trough. So this is the main important thing which you have to remember. So actually what is the main aim of this immune electrophoresis? The main aim of the immune electrophoresis is that to know whether the presence of the particular type of antigen is present or not. Okay. So here we are going to add the antigens here, right? So now what you are going to do? Now you are going to conduct the electricity charge. A particular type of voltage of current will be applied to this glass plate. Once you apply the electric current, then what happens? Then the antigens, different type of antigens which are present in this well starts moving towards the positive direction. This arrow mark which I have indicates the migration of the antigen particles or to the uh, to the positive direction so from where it moves from the to the positive direction it moves from the negative direction to the positive direction from the well okay so in this way all different type of antigen starts moving now what happens see here I have mentioned you here only a particular type of antibodies will be present that those are IgG antibodies. So here IgG antibodies can bind only to the A1 antigen. Okay, this dot one we have drawn is known as A1 antigen. So this IgG antibody can bind only with the particular type of antigen called as A1 antigen, right? So here, which type of antigens can bind over to this IgG antibodies? A1 antigen can only bind. So here different type of A1 antigens will be present here, right? So all of these A1 antigens will bind to this IgG antibody only but why it cannot bind to the another type of antibody because it doesn't have a capacity to bind with different type of antibody antigens it can bind only with a particular type of antigen and that antigen is called as A1 antigen okay so this IgG antibodies will bind only with the A1 antigen but not to the other A2 or A3 or A4 or A5 okay so this is the main concept which you have to remember in this way we can detect the particular type of antigen by adding the particular type of antibody which is suitable the type of antigen which you are going to select okay and once this antigen will get binded to the antibody then white precipitation line can be seen the precipitation line will be in the color of white okay and immunologist can just they can say that there is a presence of the antigen particular type of antigen in this uh, sample and that sample may be a serum okay from either it may be your human case or as animal case particular type of serum which consists of antigen will be added in this well remember it okay so that the antigens will start moving over here right and once that antigen start moving here the antigen particular type of antigen will get binded to the particular type of antibody which is suitable for it and then white precipitation line will be formed okay and once this white precipitation line will be formed it indicates the positive uh, and once the white precipitation line will not be formed it indicates the negative okay and that positive or negative can be identified by the uh, immunologist okay so this is the main important thing which is present in this immune electrophoresis and one of the most important concept which you have to remember is that once the antibody concentration is more and the antigen concentration is less then weak precipitation line can be seen either this precipitation line can be seen but it is observed very weakly and once the antibody concentration is less and antigen concentration is more then also the weak precipitation line can be seen so when does this strong precipitation line can be formed when the antigen concentration as well as the antibody concentration is equal then only the strong precipitation line can be seen okay so this is about your concept of the immune electrophoresis and notes of this immune electrophoresis will be given in the whatsapp group and the invite link of that whatsapp group will be given in the description box so people who are interested for the notes you can just ping me message in the whatsapp group such that i can give you notes so thank you for watching this video if you like this video just do like and subscribe and if you have any doubts regarding this video you can comment in the comment box or else you can also ask in the whatsapp group Thank you.